Well, I picked up a new old bumper for the Bronco. Came with these cool vintage lights. It's got some uh, rust staining on it, some pitting, but it's uh, good enough for the old Bronco for now. Um, started cleaning it up a tiny bit, and I thought, well, maybe you guys would like to see me rejuvenate this old bumper. This is what it's going to kind of look like in the end. So I want to do the whole chrome. I want to polish the whole chrome. This is kind of what it looked like at the start. And then we have uh, on the back side of this bumper, which is got some surface rust right there. So what I want to do is go ahead and rust treat all that. And I'm going to paint that inside there. And we'll get those vintage lights off. I put a little bit of uh, deep creep on. This light, vintage light, has uh, rust holes in it. So I don't know if I can salvage it. They're pretty thin. This one seems to be a good shape. If I can't find lenses for them, I won't bother. Because you can buy, I, I actually, I already have LEDs that'll fit in there. All right. Well, let's get this old bumper cleaned up. Just a small little project. Well, that came out pretty good, though it does need a uh, coat of metal polish. So I'm going to remove these old lights, I'm going to flip it over, and I'll use my little uh, heat um, induction heater. We'll snap those lights off, and I'll do a little bit more polishing around where the lights were, and then we'll hit it with some uh, polish. So I have this chrome polish, but it dried out on me. I put a little water in it, but I don't think that's going to be good. But what I also have is... Uh, Mag and wheel polish by Meguiar's. It's good for all metals, so I think I'll try that. But first, let's get these lights off. Got my uh, hot rod flameless heating system hooked up here. See if we can get the heat on these guys. My, my, my protectors are running a little skinny, but let's see what happens. And I got my impact wrench ready to go. Uh, there's smoke coming off them already. I don't think these are going to take much heat. All right, let's try that. Good. On to number two. There she comes. She's starting to smoke. Smoke and bubble. I did put some uh, deep creep on these. One of my favorite penetrating is deep creep. You got a lure. These weren't on by much, but I don't want to ruin them, so I'm just going to give them a little extra to start out with. I wish there was a way to shut this fan off on this thing. That's the only drawback I don't like about it. There. Perfect. That's those out of the way. Well, that looks better. I don't think I'm going to use those old lights. I, after taking them off and moving them around, they're all rattly inside. And I have some brand new LEDs to fit on there. And uh, it'll be easier on the alternator anyway. Those were old halogen ones. Kind of cool that they're vintage, but if they were perfect shape, I would do, use them. So right now, I'm just going to take my steel wool. And actually, I want to mention, I didn't actually use steel wool. Well, I did, but it was SOS pet. I couldn't find my fine steel wool. That's got some stuff on it, just uh, leftovers. So I'm going to go touch up those little spots right there. And then I'm going to give it a coat of the Meguiar's. And then we'll flip it over. And actually, uh, while I'm doing all this, I'm going to pull these old license plate lights out too. Or license plate bolts out, rather. So let me get that done, all that cleanup and these uh, plate bolts out. And we'll be... We'll get on to polishing her up and then we'll continue with the cleanup on the back. Those where the lights were cleaned up, they were a little bit rust stained around there, stained from the, the light bracket. This has a little bit of a wow on it, just a slight bit. I'm going to leave it for now 
I'll get my press out at some point and I'll uh, push that back down. But let's uh, get turned around here and uh, I'm going to metal polish this. Okay, I'm going to try Meguiar's on it. This uh, Meguiar's mag and aluminum polish. It's dried out a little bit too. Let's see how uh, I got my terry cloth. Let's see if we can put a little of this on here and see how it goes. That's way too much, my experience with this stuff. Much better than it was. Big improvement. It's got some scratches and stuff and you have to keep polish on it or it'll rust again. But uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Now, what I'll do, I'll flip it on over and I'll start working on the back. And I know this is kind of a reverse order of how it should have been done, but I really wanted to see the chrome shined up. All right, let's flip it over and get the back rust treated. A little bit of sanding and some rust treatment. All right, well, I'll get this uh, cleaned up in here and I'll start sanding it and uh, we'll rust treat it. All right, we got her uh, sanded down, cleaned up with some uh, Windex. So now I'm gonna hit it with some of this uh, rust converter. Rush check rust converter. I got a park can here. I might as well use it up. There she goes. That's a pretty good coat. I think that's a fairly liberal coat. Probably more than needs. Okay, I found a bit of paint. I was thinking about doing this in at uh, one time in uh, silver inside, but then I was thinking after I'm going to do probably the whole Bronco in semi gloss black. So I'm going to paint the back of the bumper with some. Uh, trim clad professional semi-gloss black. That's what I'll go with. I'll set it right there so I don't forget my decision. Of course, that could change by tomorrow. Well, that turned out really nice. I'm very pleased with that. I actually forgot the video putting this on, but it's just spraying paint. The end result is the important part. And man, that, that uh, I really like that. That looks really nice inside there. I was going to do <clears throat> the silver, and then I decided, no, uh, the underneath of the, the Bronco, uh, will be semi-gloss when I get to it so I want it all to kind of match together but that looks pretty sweet well that looks a lot better I just set those LED lights on there I'm not really sure if I'm taking with them or not I'm gonna have to think about it but that's it that's the new used bumper to me still have that gr uh, grill shell to deal with but holy man to buy a new one in Canada here, it's over $1,200. Well, that's the front bumper. My new used front bumper cleaned up pretty darn good, I thought. I'm not fond of those lights on the front. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. I know having those bright, those are extremely bright lights. So probably maybe not the best thing on the front of a vehicle. Uh, I could point them down, it'd be fine. It would, give, it would do what they're meant to do, point on the road, not up in other people's eyes like you see most everywhere today where they're lighting up half of the neighborhood just driving by, which to me is ridiculous, but that's what seems to be the thing. Uh, anyway, still working on the Bronco, taking out the gas tank. Holy, the dirt in there. <laughs> anyway, I, I did a little bit of priming to the back uh, gate just to keep it from rusting. It'll all have to be sanded and uh, a better job done, but that'll keep the rust off it. Uh, back windows working still no issues there I put the bench seat in you can see the red seats are in the back uh, and actually I put a let's go take a look okay I put a seat cover on the front bench seat so let's take a co uh, quick look at it you guys I don't think you've seen the bench seat video yet no you haven't seen all that yet anyway I did put the bench seat in I bought a bench seat and put it in I forgot you guys haven't seen that video uh, so it's not the right color of a bench seat, but it's the actual right uh, frame. It's from a 78, 79 Bronco. It's just the wrong color, but it's the proper one for this, uh, for this uh, Bronco. So I thought, well, until I buy uh, 
proper interior for it, upholstery. I thought, well, just one of these blanket seats. They're kind of cool. I like them. They're vintage. I have it on the. Uh, I have one on the yellow truck. I know it wasn't much of a video, but thanks for watching anyway. Uh, it's part of bringing this old uh, Bronco back to life, uh, revitalizing the the rig, rejuvenating, however you want to put it. I've been calling it kind of the Bronco uh, Revival Project. I think that's how I put it. Something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.